let us now discuss the theme of the novel the wide wide world written by susan warner and published under the pseudonym elizabeth wetherill in 1850 in america the novel was originally written with the goal of teaching people a christian lesson so many of the themes are christian in nature and uh, aim to show people how a true christian ought to live in his or her life one of the themes present in the novel the wide wide world is that everything in life even the bad things is caused by god and uh, leads to something good especially in the spiritual sense ellen montgomery uh, the protagonist is uh, very sad when she learns that her mother must leave but reminds herself that the trip will make her mother healthy again when she goes to the store to try and buy some merino cloth she meets a salesman who treats her very badly and makes her cry but as a result she gets to know a generous old gentleman who provides her with certain things for her trip that she might not have for, uh, might not have got otherwise on the steam boat the other girls make fun of ellen and uh, send her crying off to another part of the boat but through this she met a man who teaches her many things about christianity when at the marshman's house she meets children who give her a hard time with their faith but her friend alice and alan chance are there for her and comfort her through this theme susan warner wanted people to see that god did not send misery upon his children for no reason but used suffering as a means to bring them closer to him alan learns this and uh, is better able to cope with problems in her life another theme present in the novel is that uh, there are always good people present among the bad folks mr saunders a cold hearted clerk is contrasted with an old gentleman who is very kind to alan captain montgomery a man who doesn't seem to care much for his daughter or her mother is married to mrs montgomery a kind woman who loves alan with all her heart alan is forced to travel with mrs dunscomb and her daughters who find pleasure in mocking alan and her less than ideal clothes after leaving them alan meets a young man who spends much time with alan teaching her about becoming a christian and sincerely caring for the little girl aunt fortune who makes it uh, obvious that alan is unwanted at her house lives close to mrs van brunt an older woman who cares for alan and acts kindly to her alan meets people at the marshman's christmas party who give her a hard time on purpose but she has many friends there as well this seems to be saying that even though a person might be surrounded with bad people who make everyone around them suffer there are still many kind people in this world that will offer their help when the time comes alan meets many different kinds of people throughout the story some of which are annoying and taunt her faith in god but some who become real friends and shape alan's personality a third theme that is present in this novel is that those who desire to grow spiritually will receive the help of god if they honestly have that desire when talking to her mother before the parting alan is determined to live a perfect christian life and be an example for everyone around her however as soon as she gets on the boat she discovers that her heart holds negative pe- feelings towards the people around her after meeting the christian man on the boat she realizes how hard her heart is and her desire to live a good life 
is rekindled. She fails at this again, however, when she gets to Aunt Fortune's house where she directly disobeys her aunt and throws fits when things uh, aren't done to her liking. But she realizes her mistakes and wants to be good and God sends her a young woman who acts as a spiritual guide for the girl. Through this, Warner was telling people not to give us, not not to give up when they made mistakes, and showing how God comes to those who seek Him. Since uh, the Wide Wide World is a Christian book, it aimed to teach readers how to seek God and encourage those who didn't exactly know how to go about doing that but had a true desire to be closer to Him, that is God. Another theme seen in the novel is that God has an unlimited supply of strength and is willing to give it to anyone who desires it. Poor Alan went through this just about everything in her life. By the age of 10, she was separated from her mother forever, mistreated at the hands of others, mocked for her faith in God and forced to move from her homeland. However, instead of whining and complaining, she asks God to help her and she is not left alone in this world. Warner knew that times weren't easy for everyone, just like today, and wanted people to know that there was an everlasting source of encouragement available at any time of day anywhere in the world. She uses Alan as an example who doesn't despair, but with God's help lives happily after she marries John. Thank you.